ASP because we ain't got time to drag around that A. Get it? I mean, ass. <laughs> I think I'm bonking. I'm too tired. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome back to another video. Uh, the beginning of the video was because people complained that I didn't actually put uh, Weird Al. Sorry. I didn't actually put Weird Al in the video, like the music. So people weren't happy about that. So I figured, why not? I'll put Weird Al in there. You may notice I'm wearing my cycling clothes. Yes, they're extremely tight because cyclists are supposed to wear extremely tight things. And when you have a butt this big, might as well show it off. It's Tuesday and I'm getting ready to go ride. I want to show you guys real quick everything I take with me when I go riding. You're probably not going to like this if you're not a cyclist. And if you are a cyclist, you're probably going to be like, why the heck are you taking that? Bring some SIS energy packs. These are for uh, electrolytes. Give you juice. I bring water every time. I even bring a second bottle. This one it gets a sports drink for extra electrolytes. A couple of things I never know it. Always ride with a pair of gloves, especially in the winter when it's cold sunglasses and you always wear a helmet and today I'm gonna to be fancy and have the cool GoPro on top of my head <laughs> and also a good rule of thumb just of stuff you should always have with you I mean you don't have to but you're kind of risking it if you don't I've always got at least one spare tube in here a multi-tool uh, patch kit and then I've got on my frame over here, so I can get it off. A little mini pump, in case there's a flat or something like that. I am going to do probably a 20 mile ride. I am headed from my house to Dutch Cove, out to Bethel. Pretty much, should be a good ride. It was last time, but I'm going to go further this time. It is hot. And a couple of things I forgot to mention: always ride some sort of tracker so you can keep up with your ride, whether it's like tracking your ride on your phone or if you got one of those uh swift or whatever wahoo whatever i don't know what they're called little things that go on the front of your bike one of those or like i use my activity watch and i never ever ride without my road id because you don't carry your id normally when you're riding uh and this has all my information hopefully you didn't just pause that and see what it is um this has all my information if like something was to happen to me god forbid <laughs> My first stop, uh, Morning Star Church, it's United Methodist Church, I believe. Since it says, it may not be just a Methodist church, I'm not sure if it's United or not. Don't know what the difference is. I think the original building was built in 1846, uh, but this building was built in 1928, which is older than me, which is pretty cool. I'm two miles into the ride. I'm going to go, last time, I went around that road this time i'm going to take that road down through there uh because i'm going to go further out towards bethel this time and that way it doesn't go anywhere so all right back at it
Once I stop for just a moment, I'm on the corner of Abel Road. I gotta go that way. <sighs> Had to stop because last time I could not make it up that hill. This was last week. I just made it up that hill. My diaphragm's cramping, or whatever this area is, is cramping. Oh, so I'm stopping to catch my breath and then I'll keep going. Four miles in, feel good. Legs are tired, not completely recovered from hiking on Saturday. Oh, but I feel good. I'm excited about going this way. I haven't been this way yet. Whew. <laughs> be with y'all I'm having a hard time on this ride oh I'm right right at six miles this route I took is so much more hilly than last time and I'm not a hundred percent like all day yesterday I felt terrible I had some stomach issues and today I feel better I still had some stomach issues but still not a hundred percent I'm not giving up if I keep pushing, if I keep trying, to one of two things will happen. I'll either die or I'll succeed. God, I hope I succeed. But I'd rather, like, try. Get as far as I can and have to call somebody to come rescue me. Then I would just give up and turn around. I know that's probably not the smartest thing in the world, but it's just how my head works. God, it's hot. Whew. I'm going to make it up this hill now. Sorry, if I had that much sex appeal on the channel, video get demonetized. Well, not demonetized. It, I don't. It's not like I can get monetization now, anyway. Which brings me to my next point. I'm at to, as of right now 799 subscribers or 98 subscribers. Two to go to get to 800. Then another 200 to a thousand to keep to get uh, to get be able to do monetization and build and build and build and hopefully one day do this full time. I still haven't given up on that dream and I'm not going to. Uh, it's like two of my main dreams, get skinny and uh, get monetized. So I'm going to reach out to y'all. If you enjoy these videos, share them. Uh, find one. If you like this one, share it. Tag people in it uh, so they can watch it and they can subscribe and they can hopefully share. If there's one that you liked more than this one, share it. If something made you laugh, just share it. Oh, this is a community. It's a family. I know we can get to a, a thousand subscribers and beyond. I'm going to do my best to put out good content for you. I just hope you guys enjoy it. I made it up that hill. It was not easy. I found a good shady spot here in, near this graveyard. Uh, actually, in the graveyard. We'll rest here, get my heartbeat back down to around 100, and then continue on. Oh, feel cycle. You should really try it. It is so much fun. Even like just the, the reward of making up stuff like that just makes the hard work worth it. And you get to wear sexy tight clothes that, you know. Hello.
didn't go a super duper pooper scooper long ride, but I went from Canton to Bethel and back on very hilly roads that this time, hell, this time a month ago, I couldn't climb and now I'm climbing them. So as uh, I don't really know him, but I follow him on YouTube and Instagram, technically kind of makes me a stalker, but that also makes us friends. Dustin Klein would say, the ride by the numbers. Yes, man, I'm stealing your stuff. I'm sorry. Uh, I got 17.47 miles. I really thought it was going to be more than that, but I'm happy with that. An elevation gain was better than last time. I got an elevation gain of 981 feet. That's the closest I've got to 1,000 feet of elevation gain on a road bike. And time was, uh, how long? One hour, 48 minutes. That's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did not, I'm sorry. If you did, go ahead and consider subscribing. I'm going to be doing more stuff like this. The channel is, if you haven't figured it out, the channel is basically becoming about being outside and eventually working on the kitchen. I got a lot done on that today, too. All right, that's it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow or the next day. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to put this out on Tuesday, so I may do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. What do you guys think we should do? I, I know people keep saying, do whatever you have time for. What do you guys want? Would you like daily videos Monday through Friday or three videos a week or just oversaturate the market and do seven videos a day? That one ain't going to happen, I can tell you that right now. I will see you guys ASAP. Actually, I won't even see you ASAP. I'll see you ASP because we ain't got time to drag around that A. Get it? I mean ass. <laughs> I think I'm bonking. I'm too tired. Ah! Look at my mole. <laughs>